If anyone hasn't noticed, studying makes you really hungry. I used to never really know what to snack on. Whenever I got hungry, I would just stare into the fridge and then eventually I would just give up and grab some pop and something greasy. But then later, I would realize how tired this junk food made me feel and I would be just way too lazy to study. So today, I'm gonna give you 10 healthy and easy snack ideas that are gonna give you the energy to get studying and stay studying. The first snack idea is called apple nachos, which I've been seeing around Pinterest a lot lately. Apples do wonders for your brain. They contain antioxidants like quercetin that helps with your memory and pectin, which is a fiber that improves your digestive health. To make these, first we're gonna cut our apples into thin slices. This gets a little bit trickier as the slices get thinner, so just be careful. To make the peanut butter drizzle, you're gonna take some peanut butter and then add some dairy-free milk to this. I'm just using some almond milk. Mix it up until you get a running consistency like this and then taste it to make sure that your peanut butter hasn't been diluted too much. If it has, add a little bit of coconut or cane sugar to sweeten it back up. Next, we're just gonna lay out our apples and then drizzle the peanut butter mixture on top. I'm topping mine off with some mini dark chocolate chips. I've also seen these topped off with white chocolate chips or peanut butter chips, which would be amazing as well. The next snack idea is frozen yogurt bites. I'm using some soy yogurt, which contains no dairy. All you're gonna do is add whatever you want to your yogurt. I made them maple flavored by adding some maple syrup. Then you're going to put them into a bag and then cut off the end, and then make dots of yogurt onto a baking sheet. Throw these into the freezer for a couple hours, and then you'll have these delicious little frozen bites. I like to just store these in the freezer and then have them on hand whenever I feel like something a little bit sweet. The next snack idea is veggies with my favorite homemade veggie dip ever. It's basically a vegan ranch. So first you're going to mix some chopped up parsley with vegan mayonnaise. Chopping up herbs is so satisfying, I don't know why. <laughs> So not only does parsley make your food taste bomb, but it also contains flavonoids that are proven to reduce the risk of some cancers. It also contains so much vitamin K that two tablespoons contains almost 200% of your recommended daily value, which is unreal. Next, you're just gonna add some almond milk. You can add any other dairy-free milk, but I haven't tried it, so I can't vouch for anything other than almond milk. Next, I just add some onion salt and also some garlic powder. Next, you're just gonna mix this all together. I top it off with a little bit of fresh parsley and there you have it. So it's starting to get a little colder outside, which means pumpkin spice flavored things. So I thought I'd show you guys my favorite pumpkin spice energy balls. They're incredibly moist. They taste just like the pumpkin spice latte. You don't need any special equipment for these. All you're gonna do is mix together rolled oats, spelt flour, peanut butter, some pumpkin puree, and pumpkin spice. If you can't find any pumpkin spice, it's all good. Just mix together cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. Finally, add a little bit of liquid sweetener and then mix this all together until everything is combined. Then with your clean washed hands, you are going to roll these into bite-sized pieces. 
And there you have it. These are my absolute favorite. Be sure to tag me on Instagram if you guys make these because I want to see. <laughs> This next snack idea is my little cousin Mary's favorite. It's super simple, but super delicious. Take some grapes and just throw them into your freezer. It tastes like candy whenever you want a sweet snack. This next snack is pan fried cinnamon bananas. Super simple. Just cut up your banana, then fry them up for a few seconds with coconut oil. I just made a mixture of coconut sugar and cinnamon. I added this onto one side, flipped them over, and then added some more. It's really good with a sprinkle of nutmeg too. Cook these to whatever texture you like. The longer you go, the softer they'll be. Just watch them as you go and you'll be able to tell when they start getting softer. Just keep the heat really low. These taste like cinnamon banana bread. They're absolutely delicious. This next snack is homemade sweet potato fries. First, just cut up your sweet potato into long strips. Let me know if anyone has done this with zucchini. I heard that zucchini fries are actually really good. Next, I'm just moving the pieces into my pan. Then you're just gonna add some seasoning salt and then spread a small amount of coconut oil all over them doesn't have to coat them perfectly because when they're in the oven you're going to push them around every few minutes. Sweet potato is full of carbs which is exactly what we want as students. Our brain runs on this stuff. Anyone on a low carb diet? Not a good idea. I hope you are not a student. In fact during exam season I actually load up on carbs. Next up are these blueberry fruit pops. You can basically use any fruit you'd like for this one. Just blend together your fresh or frozen fruit, some almond milk, and a little bit of coconut sugar. Blend this all together, then I'm spooning the mixture into these popsicle molds. I got this from Walmart for like $2. Good investment. <laughs> then you're just going to freeze these for a couple hours, and then you have some fruit popsicles. This is our little secret. I bring these in a baggie whenever me and my friends go to the movies. I'm not even kidding. They're roasted chickpeas. Even if they get popcorn, they always ask me for some because they're so freaking good. Start by rinsing and drying your chickpeas. I dry them just by placing them on a clean dish towel and patting them dry. There are so many different flavor combinations you can do for these. You can make them spicy and add some cumin and chili peppers. You can make them sweet, add some liquid sweetener, cinnamon and nutmeg. You can make them salt and vinegar. There are just so many options. Today I added some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and some olive oil. You're just going to roast these in the oven and when they get out they're going to be really crunchy. This last snack is my favorite for when I'm incredibly short on time because it's definitely one of the quickest snacks out there. Take a couple crackers, I'm taking my favorite Wasa rye crackers, and then spread some avocado all over them. Avocado contains fatty acids which are essential for our brain function. After all, our brain is made of 60% fat. It also contains even more potassium than bananas, which is a macro mineral that helps to maintain lean muscle mass. But if you don't like avocado, mashed chickpeas are really good too. Next, squeeze some lemon all over them and there you have it. So those are 10 of my favorite healthy snack ideas. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.